Welcome to the Daily 5 at 10, your favorite 5-ish minute SLA update. I'm your host, Angela Lamb. And I'm Zeke Samoy. Today is Friday, August 12th. So Angela, now that we're a full weekend of doing the show together, I have to ask, how does it feel hosting the Daily 5 at 10 with me as compared to Jasmine? Any major differences? Nope. Really? I'm just focused on delivering a focused and concise news program to the good people of the SLA. Speaking of which, I heard on the news recently that on average, parents are spending over $170 per child on school supplies this year. Luckily for us, the SLA led by our very own Phaedra Jackson provided school supplies to all the staff that signed up for our back to school supplies. Thank you once again, Phaedra, for spearheading that effort, as well as the SLA for helping our slay families out. And also, great reporting, Angela. With news like that, I can see just how focused and motivated you really are. Thank you, Zeke. And I was saying, I don't really have time to be comparing my co-hosts. For instance, I'm not thinking about how Jasmine never forgets her line. Exactly. Or how she never shows up late to the show. Why are you looking at me? Or how much nicer her hair is than yours. Okay, no, that, see, that one's... Like, that one's a literal comparison between us. Regardless, I'm just here to do my job, which in this exact moment means... What's going on in the SLA? We have a work anniversary to celebrate. Congrats to our VP of Public Affairs, Kristen Brown. Today marks his ninth year with us at the SLA. We applaud and thank you for everything that you've done, Kristen. And as always, we salute you for your service. Don't scale back your excitement. Our SLA fishing trip is tomorrow. So see to it that you take that advantage of our great opportunity. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> our CE core supply chain issues and the impact on commercial transportation insurance is happening on August 18th. Please speak with your manager if you would like to attend. Now for today's main segment, we'll be conducting a short history lesson on something you all might find very important, the SLA. Huge shout out once again to our very own Kristen Brown, who first gave a presentation on the roots of the SLA earlier this year for our town hall meeting. Now, we're just sort of stealing it. So Angela, where do we begin? Back to the time of dinosaurs, pyramids, cowboys, and the Montreal Expos? Um, not quite, but we are going to have to go back more than 300 years to Edward Lloyd's London Coffee House, which was known in the late 1600s as a source of shipping information, but would grow to become the heart of London's business community in the 1730s, where it began to offer marine underwriting, where Lloyd's would ensure ships on their travels. Jumping ahead in 1871, the Great Chicago Fire took place, where 17,500 buildings were burned to the ground. This unexpected catastrophe was made worse when it became clear that domestic insurers were completely unprepared and unable to pay for the damages done. Half of all the claims from the Great Fire received nothing at all. This failure opened the door for surplus lines insurance in the United States. As surplus lines insurance grew, thanks in large part of Lloyd's reputation, which had grown handsomely in the U.S. by the early 1900s, it became clear that the industry needed an association to help ensure a healthy, fair, and competitive marketplace in California. And thus, in 1936, the SLA was born. However, it wasn't always smooth sailing for the whole SLA. Following the Rodney King riots in 1991, more than 2,000 businesses were destroyed, resulting in over $1 billion in damages. Many of these stores had surplus line policies that unfortunately turned out to be scams and were absolutely worthless. The surplus line industry came under attack and both the industry and the SLA were threatened to be erased. Thankfully, led by a knight in shining armor, Jerry Sullivan, and a group of surplus lines leaders came together to secure legislation that preserved our industry and our company. The legislation empowered the CDI to select an advisory organization for the surplus lines industry, and surprise, surprise, the organization was us. Wow, <laughs> what a journey we've been on. Can't believe we've been through here. We've been here through it all, huh, Angela? That is wildly incorrect. But that's okay, because we've got everyone's favorite segment up next, the Daily Giftaway. So today's national day is National Vinyl Record Day. Did you bring the vinyl records that I asked, Z? Of course I did. Just like you said, vinyl records in the flesh. Mm, Zeke, those are CDs and one of those are the Emoji Movie. Moving on, I'm certain today's winner will be turntabled upside down with today's prize, which is... 
a $25 Amazon gift card so they can actually buy some actual vinyl records online. And so without further ado, today's winner is... Stephanie McCutcheon. Congratulations, Stephanie. You're the A side of my 45. Up into the winner's jar you go. Don't forget to email us at 5 at 10 at to claim your prize or if you have any comments or questions for the show. Thank you guys as always for tuning in. Signing off, I'm Angela. And I'm Zeke. Thank you and... Good morning.